I'm going to give a quick demo of how to use Browser Stack Test Management. This is the Test Management product page. I will start by clicking on the Get Started uh, button. Once I click here, it takes me to the sign up page for the product. Here I can either sign in using the SSO sign up option or providing an email ID and password. I will go for the SSO sign in option. I have created an email ID uh, to log into the account and I'll be using the same uh, for this demo. I will select the checkbox out here and click on continue. Once I do this, it takes me to the onboarding page of the product. I'll quickly answer these two questions. I can either import uh, my data from an existing test management tool or start a project from scratch. So I will show you how the quick import works. So I've selected it and clicking on continue. Once you start the quick import, uh, you will see two options, which is test rail and the file scale. I'll import from a test rail project. So for that, I will be entering the email address the test rail host name, the API key, and then test the connection. Once the connection is established uh, successfully, I'll click on proceed. It will show me all the projects which I had uh, in test rail. So I will be selecting two of these projects uh, for this demo. Click on the proceed button and then begin import. Now the import uh, process takes a couple of uh, seconds. I can click on the check import status option, which is available here to see the progress. Now the import is done successfully. I can see the two projects which I have imported just now. Now I will go inside one of the projects. Here I can see all the test cases which are present inside the project. These are the test runs. Currently we don't have any uh, test run for the project. I can click on a test case and once I do that, on the right hand side, it will open up a panel with all the test case details. On the bottom left side, there is setting which is basically for your Jira integration which is not done yet and I'll be doing it soon. And then is the documentation page which has all configuration related data for test management. Next, I'll show you how to create a project from uh, scratch. So here I'm creating a project name. As you can see, a new project has been uh, created. I can create test cases directly from this bar here. Or I can also create a folder and create some test cases within that folder. I will quickly create some test cases from this option. I will be using these test cases in the demo at a later stage. I also have a create test case option on the top right side. I'll be using that also and create a test case uh, to validate if a user is able to sign in with the valid credential. Now for these on the right side, if you see there is a template option given, I can either choose a text based template or a step based template. So for this one, I'll be showing a step based template and I'll be entering the description, the required steps, the expected results. Once that is done, I will be selecting the type of the test case. So for this, I will select security. Uh, I will set the priority as say high, uh, stage to be active, owner is myself. It's primarily uh, the user who is owning of the test case. And then I'll enter the preconditions which are required for this test case. Once this is done, I will enter the tags. So I'm entering a tag saying login. I can enter another tag for this. I will enter scene regression. This will help me find these test cases easier. Then we will do the Jira setup. I'll click here on the setup Jira account. It will take me to the browser stack integration page. From there, I can click on connect. Once I do that, it will ask for the credentials. So first I'll get the host name from here copying the host name. I'll go back and paste it here. Then entering the email ID. And then for the API token, I'm getting the token generated here. 
so the token is getting created i will copy the token go back and paste it here and there you go this management is now linked with jira i'll create a new issue i'll go to jira add the required details so here, as you can see, test management is linked to Jira. We also have a two-way binding through which Jira can also communicate to test management seamlessly, which I'll be showing you at a later stage uh, in the demo. So I'm just entering all the details. Once it is done, I will get the ID for this particular uh, Jira issue and link it in the test management uh, platform. So as you can see, the issue has been linked to Jira and the test phase is completely created. Next, I will show you how to perform a couple of bulk edit operation. I will select multiple test cases and doing some changes here, setting the priority, uh, changing the type of test cases. I will add the Jira ID here as well. Once I click on update all, you can see all the selected test cases have been updated together, saving me a lot of time and effort. I can click on a test case and see the details here on the right side. I can edit the details. I can also uh, do the Jira ID linking here. Next, I will show you how to create subfolders uh, within folders and organize your test cases better. So here I'm creating a subfolder called login. I'll create uh, another subfolder called sign up. And I will move the relevant test cases into each of these subfolders. So the login one will go to the login subfolder and the sign up will go to the uh, sign up folder. So it really makes easy to organize all the test cases. So tomorrow if I have to search for these test cases, it will be very easy for me. Next, I will show you how the import CSV option works. I will click here on import CSV, then select a CSV file from my system. Uh, I can select the CSV separator. Once I click on proceed, the import will start. You can see all the CSV column names have been mapped smartly with this management field. Uh, if you had any custom field, uh, which in this case is the one with the star mark, which is the environment, it has gotten automatically mapped and created in test management. Now, once it is done, I will edit field and value mapping. You can see test case ID is matched with case ID. Uh, folder, I'll select the split by greater than character. The state and tags value mapping is updated automatically. I can click there and see the values. You can also update the value mapping for the custom value, such as in this case, P0 will be for high, P1 will be for uh, medium. Once the mapping is done, I can click on save. This is the new custom field of environment we just got added. After this, I will click on uh, proceed. This is how all the entries would look like. This is how the test cases would look like. After this, I will click on import uh, test cases. And once I do that, it also shows me the uh, import progress. Now the data from the CSV have been imported. Now what I can do is I can go back to the project and under the sign up folder, I will be able to see all the test cases which have been uh, imported from the uh, CSV file. I can also click on a test case and see the uh, information on the right side panel and also do the Jira linking here. Next, I will show you how to create manual test run. As when you create on the create test run, it automatically creates a test run on today's date. I will select all the test cases which I want to run uh, from this particular sign up folder. Once all the test cases uh, have been selected, 
I can link them with Jira. Adding the details here on uh, Jira for the test run that I'm just uh, going to run. Once it is done, I can get the Jira ID and add it back in the test management. So I will take the Jira ID from here and putting it here and linking the issue and now I will go and click on create test run. Now the test run has been created. I can change the status of this test cases to past, fail, retest, block, stop and as and when I'm changing the status you can see the overall progress bar out there getting uh, changed. I can click on a test case here and uh, uh, see the results. I can also add uh, past results here. I can also add in result here, choose options from here. Create a new issue again, go to Jira. Once the ID is created, I can go back and uh, put it in the test management. So now the test run which I just did is also linked with uh, Jira. I can go back to the test run here and close the test run and uh, by the best practices which we follow once you have closed the test run you won't be able to edit it. You can always go back and view the closed uh, test run. So that was the uh, manual test run method. Now I will show you how we can do automated test run. Uh, we have two ways by which we can do automated test run. So here we will first uh, understand the curl uh, upload method. So for this we will be using Jenkins. So I have already configured Jenkins for this demo. So I'm in inside Jenkins. Here uh, I'll go inside the master and I'll select build with parameters. Once I select build with parameters, I have to pass the API token, the test management API token I can get here from the settings page. I will copy the token and paste it in the parameter. I will be uh, sharing the other uh, parameters here in Jenkins and then click on build. Now this build will take a couple of minutes. So, like I mentioned before, this is one of the ways we can run automated test run in test management. Uh, the other is using test observability, which I will be showing you uh, next. Uh, well, now the build is over and from the logs here, we can actually go to test uh, management directly and we can see that, uh, you know, the automated test runs have been done. I have just refreshed it and you can see the same build that is the number 91 is reflected here with all the uh, updated status of the test cases. Now, before we move on to the test observable part, I also wanted to show the test case tagging. So here, if you see, I have a test case with number 1743, which I will be adding here in the report log. After adding it, I will build it using Jetkins. Here in the results, you can see uh, two results in the test case, but after the build is done, we will be able to see four. And here, for the same test case ID, if you see 1743, the results have been added after the test run. So this was the entire feature of uh, test case uh, ID tagging. Next, we will see how test management works by CrowdStack test observability. Again, in my case, I have configured Jenkins on observability. So here I will go to Jenkins and click on build now. Uh, this again takes a couple of minutes to process. In the meantime, we will go to observability uh, platform. This is in progress. We can check the logs here. 
once the build gets completed, we can actually see test observability and see how the build is getting reflected here. As you can uh, see, the build is already here. This is the build that is happening in Jenkins. I think there are a total of eight test cases. So three have been done so far in the build summary, which you can see here. Now it's four, it shows the failed and the past and the right side of the build history, the test cases have been grouped, infilled, skipped and uh, passed. Almost five test cases have been uh, completed. We'll just wait for uh, maybe a couple of seconds and you know the remaining text cases will also be done. So the build is over and uh, I'm right now on the test management platform and here if you see all the test runs have been uh, listed that just got built. You can see all the test runs here with the status as pass, failed. You can uh, select the test case that has just failed and from the log report, you can actually go to the test observability uh, page by clicking in view more details. And once you are on test observability, you will be able to track the exact issue, why it happened, how it happened. Here, you will be also able to uh, link this to Jira. I have just added the ID and link this uh, with Jira. Now I will quickly show you the two-way Jira binding which I spoke a little earlier in the demo. These are all the test runs. So from here if you click, it shows the connected Jira ID. Now once you go there, the beauty of this two-way binding is now you'll be able to see all your linked test cases and test run in Jira itself. Here if you see, all the test cases and test runs are present here. Now if you... Uh, click on any of this and go to the test run it actually opens up on test management you can even link uh, the test run now if you're changing this uh, run result here to say skip and you actually go below and check the id number 13 has been skipped as well if you are changing it to failed And you're coming back here again and seeing this has been failed. Now if I open this, you can see these are all the active test runs with the latest status of failed, skip, retest, again failed and passed. Now from here, when you go to the test management tool and you close, uh, you know, the test run and you come back here and check the same thing has been reflected here as well. This is the power of two-way uh, Jira binding that I was just mentioning. So Jira and test management communicates with each other very seamlessly and it makes the entire test management process extremely easy for the users. And this is the last part uh, of the demo. I'll be quickly showing you the dashboards which we have. So here you get to see the active test runs. We have uh, on the right side, the closed test run where you can see uh, how the test runs have performed over the 12 months. Even in active test runs, all the test cases have been grouped with past, failed, blocked and other uh, categories. You can always view the active test runs and the closed runs as well. If you scroll down, you can see how the closed test runs have performed over the last 15 days. Uh, again, these have been grouped in past failed block. You can see the type of test cases which have been run. Then how the test cases have been trending over the last couple of months, you will be able to see that as well. And lastly, you can also see the number of uh, Jira issue which have been uh, registered over a period of time. So with this, we come to the end of the uh, demo. Thank you for watching 